Hi, Regions Beyond. I would like to encourage you from the passage of Scripture. It's Philippians 4, 6. This is following on from what Steve Oliver encouraged us uh, about a few days ago. And this is what he says. He says, do not be anxious about anything. And by anything, it means anything. The economy right now, our health right now, about our neighborhoods, our countries, our families, um, quarantine or isolate, self-isolation, all these things. Do not be anxious. That doesn't mean you don't read the news, you don't follow what's going on around the world, but uh, or sometimes we give ourselves to social media, and there's a lot that's going on there, by the way. But I just want to say, do not be anxious, because you look out first, and what tends to happen sometimes is you start panicking and getting very anxious. What's happening out there is real, but the Bible is saying do not get anxious about it, because what would happen is that you look out, and then you tend to look inside, and you feel um, incapable, you feel a sense of inadequacy that you cannot, you haven't got the resources and all it takes to step in to help. But I want to encourage you because what Paul says here, he says, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. What does that mean? It means we don't start by looking out there, we start by looking up. We look to God first, who is the source of life, who is sovereign, who is seated on the, on the throne, and He is the one who will empower us with the Holy Spirit. He'll bring us revelation and clarity to know how to react at this time, to give us the right posture for this time. And what God does is that He will fill us with His Holy Spirit as He's always does and the Holy Spirit is the spirit that empowers us to know what to do and how to react to what's going on around the world and I would encourage us to begin first by looking up to God and when we look inside we see the power that raised Christ from the dead that's at work in our hearts that would propel us and encourage us and give us the resources that we need to know how to respond in this chaos right now let us begin by praying and seeking God and then we will know how to react to this time. God bless you.